Zelinsky was born at the wrong time because he was always the second. He was an amazing conductor, but he was conducting in the Volksoper, not in the Staatsoper in Vienna. So he was always in the shadow of someone else. Conductor, composer, lovers. Five, six years ago, I didn't really know him and I just bought a score to just get to know a little bit his work. And I just fell completely in love with the extraordinary passionate man he was in a very little, ugly, wounded body. He was a very unfortunate man. He was small, he was not very beautiful, he was not smelling well, he was not taking care of his appearance. So he is the Zwer. In the Zwerg, it's a little bit his own story, not only physically, but also about the acceptation of the community to his own individuality. Is it better to live with the truth or to live in an illusion? This belongs to all of us, in a way, this living in a fake world, living in a society in a way where we don't accept differences. It's an opera that everyone can actually feel immediately, because it goes straight to your heart. And you can feel the drama and the cruelty in his head and in his heart. And that makes the Zwerg a masterpiece because it's a horrible beauty. <laughs>